Hi everyone, this is Dr. Murray at Murray Chiropractic Center and today I'm going to talk to you about exercises. I'm actually going to take you through my core routine. So this is going to be about a 20 minute video. This is the exercise that I do two or three times a week and I recommend to all my patients because it strengthens the core. It'll help prevent back pain. It'll help resolve back pain and structural issues because we're strengthening all the appropriate muscles. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get my timer ready. The first exercise that we're going to do is planks. And I want you to keep in mind that you can modify these. Um, I, I like to do a minute, three sets. So here we go. First exercise, the plank. All right. So I like to do three one minute holds and I try to keep my core as straight as possible and I also like to rotate my right side of my hips back my right shoulder up and keep my neck back because those are some common postural distortions um, that I suffer from along with every other right hander on the planet more than likely so just holding this plank keeping my core tight Another 30 seconds. And I'm at my office on my lunch hour. And so you can do this anywhere. You can do this at your desk. It's only a 20 minute routine. If you do this two or three times a week, it's gonna keep your back really strong. And we're coming up on five seconds, four, three, two, one, and then in between, I take a little 30 second break. I'm just gonna stretch out. I believe this is called uh, child's pose. It's a yoga pose. Just stretching my low back. You can even go to the left, to the right, try to stretch everything out. About 10 seconds left. I'm gonna go into another yoga pose. This one's called Cobra. And oh, here we go. That's, I only take a 30 second break, back to planking. Hold that for one minute. So stretching is an extremely important part of any workout routine. Uh, my flexibility isn't the best, so that's something that I've been working on. As you can see, my core is pretty strong. Um, I can get through these one minute planks without any trouble. And you see I'm kind of arching my back there. so. It's good if you have a mirror or something where you can kind of look at your posture while you're planking and work on your posture while you're planking. You want to make sure to strengthen the muscles in the right plane in the right way so they get used to the proper alignment. So about 10 seconds left on this plank. Five, four, three, two, one and break and if you need to you can always plank from your knees that's not a problem back into child's pose about 15 seconds stretch to the left stretch to the right and back into cobra get a good amount of extension there and three two, one, back to plank. One more minute, and this is the last set. Or last rep of the set, rather. If you exercise just 20 minutes a day, you're doing more than most people. It's going to help you stay away from the medical doctor. Outside of just your routine blood work, which you should be getting done once a year just to make sure everything's okay. 30 seconds left. Twenty seconds. I could be working myself out of a job here if everybody keeps their core as tight as they can. You might not need to see the chiropractor so often. That's okay, I still recommend wellness visits. So that's a good thing, I want people to be healthy. Okay. 
just a quick stretch. I'm going to move into our side planks. So this is the next exercise. And I like to stretch out. Put your right leg over, your right arm back. Just get a good stretch. We're at the four and a half minute mark, so I'm going to go ahead and start the side plank. And again, I'm trying to keep my core as straight as possible. I put my arm up because, again, um, I've been doing this routine for a while, so I like to add a little bit to it. You can keep your hand down, keep it on your hip, whatever's easier for you. And these side planks are a little bit tougher, so I just do 30 seconds three times. Three, two, one, and 30 second break again. I'm gonna hit this stretch. Stretching out those hip flexors, the obliques, paraspinal muscles. About five seconds and we're back on it. This is number two for this side. And again, trying to keep my posture good. Pulling my right hip back, so I'm a right-hander. Most right-handers have a, a hip on the right side that's moved forward. And so when I'm doing my postural exercises, I purposely rotate my hip back to try to fight against that while I'm exercising. I want to teach my muscles the proper position and space. Three seconds on this one, two, one. Break and stretch. Right leg over in front, right arm in back. And you should feel a nice pull there. Okay, 10 seconds left. We'll do our last one on this side. Three, two, one, and plank. It's a good little routine. I had a back problem for a while and was able to overcome it. This uh, PT regimen has really helped to keep me strong. Of course, I get adjusted once a week, once every two weeks, the worst case scenario. That helps keep me straight and break. All right, I want to make sure we're still filming here. We're about seven minutes into our core routine. We're going to switch to the opposite side for side planks. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get a stretch. So this time, left leg over the top, left arm back. You should feel that stretch in your pecs too. And three seconds, two, one. Side plank on the opposite side. Again, we're just holding these for 30 seconds. This is a little bit more difficult. If you're in really good shape with your core, you can even raise your leg up. I'm not there yet, <laughs> even though I've been doing this routine for a number of years. These side planks are a little bit more difficult for me, so we've all got stuff to work on. And break. A good stretch. It's number one. Left leg over, left arm back. Okay, about 10 seconds. Left in our little break. Okay. Number two here. Is that number three? Lost count. I think this is just the second one. seconds. Might be feeling a little shaky, that's okay. And break, stretch. 
Left leg over, left arm back. 30 second break. Ten seconds left, and last rep for the set. Go. Side planks are a little tough. Halfway. Five seconds. And break. Okay, the next exercise that we're going to do is the bridge. Just want to make sure we're still filming. Good. So, let's see. I'm going to turn this way. Okay. For this next one, bridge. You can just do a simple bridge, just like this. You can put your arms flat. You can push them across your chest. You can put them up in the air if you want to add intensity. And what I like to do is raise one leg up, point the toes, and I hold that for 30 seconds, and then I switch sides. And I just like to get it all knocked out three minutes straight. You might not be able to do that right away. Uh, when I first started, I think I was just doing simple bridge, just like this, um, one minute break 30 seconds, another minute break 30 seconds, but I've graduated to this advanced move. So uh, this one's, I find this exercise to be pretty easy. So I just go straight through and I've got my, got my phone as my timer, just making sure we're doing 30 seconds on each side. Eight seconds. Okay, switch, get that right leg back up. And again, I'm trying to keep my right, right side of my pelvis down. It rotates like this naturally. So again, working on my postural abnormalities while I'm doing postural exercises. Trying to teach my body the proper position and space. Five seconds on this right side. And we are halfway. Switching to the left again. Bringing my right hip down or back towards the ground. Ten seconds on this left hand side. And go ahead and switch to the last one on the right. Again, you see my right hip tried to jump up. So being cognizant, pulling it back down, trying to train, train these muscles to be in the right spot at the right time. 15 seconds. I'm starting to feel that a little bit. Three, two, one and switch. Okay, feel that on my hamstring on the left. Again, trying to push my left hip up, bring my right hip back. 20 seconds left. Last 10 seconds. And break. Whew. Okay, we're under our last exercise, and that is leg raises. A little out of breath. It's a good workout. About 15 minutes in. No, 13, 13 minutes in. So for the leg raises, we're just going to keep our right leg bent. We're going to straighten out our left leg. We really don't need a timer at this point. And actually, oh boy, 
I'm going to go ahead and use my cervical pillow. So I'm going to work on my curve of my neck while I'm doing my leg raises. So 25 on the left. I think that's seven. I'm going to let my head hang out here. One, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and I'll just relax for a few seconds. Take a little break in between reps. The cervical pillow is awesome. You can just roll up a bath towel. Just roll up a towel and put it underneath your neck. Just let your head hang. It's restoring that curve in your neck, which is so important for life. Okay, 25 more. Still on the left side. We're going to knock out everything on the left side, and then we'll switch to the right. Two, three, four, five. Take a little break. One more set on this side. We're going to go ahead and get after it. One, two, three, four, five. Whew. You really feel that across the hip flexors. I'm going to raise up my left leg, or my left knee's bent. We're about 17 minutes in. I'm going to go ahead and get started on the right. So, two more on this side, on this break. I'm just going to talk for a little bit. A lot of people say they work out their core, and you ask them what they're doing, and they're doing crunches and all that stuff, and that's great, but they're creating a postural imbalance. You've got to work on the back part of your core, your paraspinals. Okay, two more reps here. Okay, that's 25. Got one left. Let's see where we're at on time. 18 minutes and 49 seconds. We'll go ahead and pick it up to make sure that we finish in 20, as promised.
pointing. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, 19 minutes, 32 seconds. Core workout is complete. Whew, it's a good little workout. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I recommend doing this two, three times a week. There's a blog about this on my webpage, so you can download uh, the exercises sheet that I recommend. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Murray Chiropractic Center on Facebook, thechiropractor.sa.com online. So again, we're working out the paraspinal muscles, okay, all along the back. We're working out the hip flexors, working out the obliques. So different parts of the core that are probably neglected in many cases. So if you're doing your crunches, you're doing your abdominal workouts, that's great. But your spine doesn't run down the front. It runs down the back. That's where every nerve that innervates every cell, tissue, and organ in your body exits. So the health of your spine is the health of your nervous system. The health of your nervous system is everything. So great workout. Um, again, two or three days a week. You want to skip a day in between. It's just like any other major muscle group. You don't want to work it out back to back. Give the body a chance to repair and heal, and then hit it again. All right, guys. Hope this helps. Talk to you soon.